and this is cucumbers. Welcome back to Go on Shaw TV. Well, we're out in Steinbeck at Hans Steinman's Farm God's Acres. You uh, you are one of the producers for MyFarmersMarkets.com, and I just want to let viewers know really quickly that I just ate a freshly picked strawberry. You're going to have to take my word for it because it's gone. I ate it in a second, but this is amazing. You have fresh strawberries in January. Yes, we have, yeah. What else have you got growing in here? Uh, we have tomatoes, we, uh, cucumbers are coming, uh, Swiss chard, kale, lettuce, herbs, peppers. Now, you and your family um, are originally from Switzerland and you moved here to uh, start a dairy farm, which we are in an old dairy farm and it's obviously been converted. Um, what made you convert this into a greenhouse? Because in people like year-round fresh vegetables mm -hmm. and that's our business now we are producing vegetables for people and uh, the thing is that we need to sell year-round to make a living exactly the growing season in, in Canada or in Winnipeg in particular Manitoba is pretty short so this is something that you guys had to do uh, not had to mm -hmm. but want to do Right. Yeah. And there's a lot of experimentation going on in here. Uh, you were showing us you have tomatoes uh, are a big money maker for you. They're worth it. People are willing to pay for that fresh tomato. Uh, you got Swiss chard that grows really great. But some things like spinach don't work very well. Um, maybe if you can explain to us the science of why some plants grow under LED lights but others don't. Uh, they all grow under LED lights. Okay. The problem is they need a different spectrum, a different oh, okay. light requirement, and, and that's the um, problem we face with one light. It's, it's not working for everything. It is oh. working for one thing, but not the other. That's why the spinach want to go to seed, because the lights are meant to produce fruit. Interesting. So do you have one fruit or vegetable that you grow the most of here? Uh, yeah, right now that's kale. Kale. Interesting. And leaf lettuce is coming up. And you guys do a lot of, like I said earlier, a lot of experimentation. What are some maybe new vegetables that um, people don't really know about that you're growing here? Uh, you tried someone yeah. that's called corn salad. And uh, in Swiss German it's called Nüsli Salat. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it has a nutty flavor aftertaste and uh, yeah I hope to get it to market within the next month. Um, how is business going for you guys? Is this something that's sustainable? I mean people in Winnipeg are just excuse the pun but hungry for you know that fresh produce because everything that's shipped in it takes so long to get here it's expensive it's not fresh so how have Manitobans responded to uh, to your business? Uh, not too bad. Mm -hmm. It's it's still slow, yeah. like we still fight that problem, mm -hmm. um, but we hope to make it mm -hmm. because uh, I believe when we can grow it here, like the energy cost to heat this 5,000 square foot greenhouse is about 150 to 300 dollar of gas money a month, but mm -hmm. it's cheap. Like mm -hmm. it's hard to heat the house with, with that, right? Mm -hmm. So. Um, I think we are very energy efficient mm -hmm. in that part. Yes, we put money into light, uh, in electricity too, but uh, you need that in the winter anyway to grow in Manitoba. But also saving on energy, um, you guys harvest, like you'll harvest today and then it's delivered tomorrow and in people's homes tomorrow, right? Yes. Yes. You know, a big part of what you do is um, Open Farm Day, which is in the fall annually, and you welcome people to your farm to show them what you're doing here. Why is it so important to uh, show the public what you guys do here? Why do you choose to do that? Um, what we find out, people are not interested in just good kale. They want to know where their vegetable comes from. They want to meet the producer. And we do the farmer's market in health science. That's on every Wednesday, like mm -hmm. tomor uh, tomorrow. That's mm -hmm. why we harvest today. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do hydro market. And then here in Steinbach, we try to do CSA weekly shares uh, to deliver to homes, like what my farmer's market does in Winnipeg. And uh, People want to know you mm -hmm. because they, 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 it gives them a connection to, to the producer and, and what they eat. Right. Well, thank you so much, Hans. Look out for him at all those markets. It is called God's Acres, and it is honestly delicious. I've been tasting it as I've gone along here. Stick with us. We have more on go. Thanks so much, Hans. You're welcome. Have a good day. Yeah, thank you.